Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your February 2018 monthly reading. I know it's late, forgive me, but it's been crazy. So let's get started. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy New Year. Yes, I'm still saying Happy New Year. We'll start this thing over this month, okay? Happy New Year. <laughs> Anyhow, let's get started. Um, I do shuffle and pray over the cards off camera. We're using the Shadowscapes Tarot. They're really pretty. Anyway. It was a birthday gift. Here we go. Thank you for the messages for my single Pisces. We'll start with singles. Messages for my single Pisces. True, accurate messages to govern and guide their lives. Ultimately bringing Pisces back to our creator in prayer and in supplication. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the messages for Pisces. True, accurate messages for Pisces. All right. The Six of Pentacles and the Lovers. The Sun. Messages for single Pisces. Seven of Wands. Knight of Wands, Single Pisces, The Magician, and Ten of Wands, The World, Let's see outcome for my single Pisces. Two cards wanted to come out. Four of Wands, Judgment. Okay, so some of my Pisces are single, but at the same time dating. Might be in like a kind of like a serious dating situation. Uh, the outcome is Four of Wands and Judgment. You need to make a decision about do you want to be in a relationship? Or don't you? Do you want this or do you not? Um, let's see. One more card. Strength. Yeah, you're stronger than you know. You don't don't feel pressured. Uh, what's ex what? Your hopes and fears is the world. So you're wanting something to end. The what's external to you is the ten of wands. Someone comes with a lot of burden. A lot of burden and despair. A lot of heavy weight on you. And your power is the magician. So you have, you can manifest an ending. You can manifest whatever outcome you want here. Uh, and the foundation is the lovers and the six of pentacles. Okay, so this talks about a choice. You want to make an equal, fair, and balanced choice. One that benefits you best. One that you feel balanced in. You feel a sense of equilibrium in. Where someone's making this about you, but I really feel like it's Pisces, and you're uh, presently seven of wands, so you're a bit defensive about getting into something, getting into a relationship, going into business. What we forgot to do is the near future, the high priestess. So it says, check in with yourself. Hold on to what you what you're doing too. Don't let too much information out. Hold on to you know have some secret about yourself. Check in with spirit. Because whatever the outcome is going to be positive. The sun is here. It governs the entire read. It's the reason for all the energy. Recent past was the Knight of Wands. Someone rushing towards you really quickly. It looks like a fire sign. Uh, they want partnership. They want a relationship. You're not exactly sure. This person could have been from your past. This could be a new person. But I feel like it's a, a person you know because the Seven of Wands is here. Uh, this person has either taken you through a lot. You've been through a lot with them. You know their background. You know their history. So you're, um, and then they might be kind of flighty. They're in and they're out with the Knight of Wands. 
they you know they want you today you don't know about tomorrow so the advice here is take your time Pisces it looks like you are uh, you're stronger than you know you don't have to give in here manifest the outcome you want but you're gonna have to make a final decision with the judgment here do you want it or, or do you not all right so my Pisces couples I'm gonna use another day. Pisces couples. Thank you for the messages for my Pisces couples. True, accurate messages for Pisces couples. Messages of love and light. Messages to govern and guide their lives. Bringing them back to our Creator in prayer and supplication. Showing and giving reverence to our great, our great and wonderful God that we serve. So thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for Pisces. Couple Pisces. What are the messages for couple Pisces? Four Pentacles. Some of you are holding on to money, status, or your emotions. What are these cards? The High Priestess. Yeah. Some of you holding on to money. And it's a secret. The Empress. There's the other woman or the other man. Six of Cups and the present energy. Recent past will of fortune. Near future. Ace of Wands. Three of Wands. Two of Wands, wow. Wow, this was in the same card, in the same position in the Pisces Singles, Ten of Wands. Your energy is the Seven of Swords. The outcome is the Devil. Okay, so it looks like for my Pisces couples, there might be a third party. And not because of all the threes or whatever, but more so, it looks like someone's trying to devise a plan of action to move away from, away from whatever. Um, the devil is the outcome. Toxic situation, addiction. Uh, there are three people here in the devil card. Um, right, ace of cups. It looks like some of you want to find new love for self. Or you found actual new love or friendship elsewhere. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Wow. Yeah, you, you're wanting to offer love elsewhere. Five of Cups. And you want to get out of this third party situation. You're done with it. The near future is the Ace of Wands and the Three of Wands. You're leaving behind whatever was established. Partnership, job, whatever. You're just leaving it behind and you're looking out into the horizons, looking out into the future. Your power is the two of wands. You're actively making a decision to chart a new path that clearly alters your entire life. You're laying down the burden or the burden external to you. It's now external to you um, in your hopes and fears. You are devising a plan of action to move away from, move away from a third party situation so you can offer love, accept love elsewhere, go through the grieving process, move away from the third party situation. You're holding on to all of this, what you're doing, because um, there might be children involved. The star. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. An Aquarius could have a third party. Could be the one having a third party. Or vice versa. It's you, Pisces. Or you're just needing to have some... You're wishing and hoping for the other person. I just heard. Well, um, this could be male or female. Whatever suits you. All right, 
four of wands after grief, after grieving the third party, possibly seeing what's behind you, the two of cups and the four of wands, a, a solid relationship because I'm nosy. Death, maybe a, the ending in the beginning, the ending of a relationship. I just heard that the ending of a relationship in the beginning of a new one because death brings about ending and then there's also that that new beginning that comes that's why it's called transformation you can't transform into nothing you transform it into something so i'm just feeling like this is the ending of one relationship on to the next all right pisces it looks like you got it all figured out too like you know what you're doing or if that's your better half, they know what they're doing. They want out. It looks like they're getting out. Okay, let's get in some advice. Advice for my single Pisces. True, accurate messages of advice for single Pisces. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Heavenly Father, Angel, Spirit Guides. For true, accurate messages. For single Pisces. Self-care. Okay. Relationship dynamics. Heavenly signs. So for my single Pisces, you might be hearing music, seeing, seeing things, seeing signs. Someone says something to you that just clicks. Heavenly signs are showing you that whatever you're thinking about, whatever you're trying to manifest, whatever you think the situation is, hey, it is. Heavenly signs here, relationship dynamics. The dynamics of a particular relationship or maybe all relationships in your life have changed or are changing because the dynamics have changed. Someone's entered a relationship, you're now aware of how you feel about a person or about a situation, the dynamics of the relationship have changed. Um, you could also, I'm hearing like the home, the home changed and the foundation changed and, and now things are manifesting in the relationship. So there's change with there's like external change physical external change and now the dynamics of the relationship have changed so i had to relocate move whatever and now the dynamics of the relationship have changed hmm. self-care worry about yourself stop worrying about everybody else self-care you're no good to anyone if you are not taking care of self first okay the energy from my couple Pisces. Couple Pisces. Gracefully aging. All right. New, new regimens for yourself. Visit a store, a department store, a beauty store. Well, I don't know. Uh, research online about, you know, how you can age gracefully. What will help you do that? All right, couple Pisces, changing your mind, nice. Decisions, healing from the past, be true to you. Gracefully aging, your mind has changed because you've got a new piece of information, you've got newfound insight about something, and now it causes you to make a decision. Decisions are on the table. It looks like you're actively already doing that from the spread and you're healing from the past with that star card. Uh, engaging in healing and restoration for yourself so that you can be true to you, to who you are and what you want for yourself or who you want for yourself. So it looks really good. I hope that these messages resonated with each and every Pisces who views the video. If it does, please like, 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 uh, share the video, comment, definitely comment. 
um, if you need to reach me, it's tarotofl at gmail.com. All information is below in the description box. All information. Uh, remember, Pisces, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Uh, all information is below. Take advantage of the $25 two-question reading. All right? So until next time, Pisces, take care.